we were spending, God, we were spending so much more money in, in leads that, that was just churning through them, you know, just unnecessarily. So this has kind of got our budget consistent as well, too. Hey, everyone. Welcome into the program. We've got a great guest today. William is here with me, and he's going to be talking about his experience with AJC. In order to sell more life insurance, you need an automated, predictable system that works. Hey, William. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Glad to have you here. I'm good, Earl. Thank you. Glad to be here. Oh, man. Well, I'm always excited to, to talk to life insurance agents about what it is that they're doing and how they're getting better and better at what it is that they're doing. And look, um, how long ago did you actually come into the ecosystem here of, of AJC? Was that at the end of April? Yes, it was at the end of April. I think April 22nd, to be precise date. Okay. I remember, I remember what we were doing and when we decided to join and we were very excited to get involved with it. Well, what was going on at the time that you even felt a need to, to look for something like what it is that we do? What were you going through dealing with? What was some of the pain you were dealing with at the time? Well, it was just really the uh, consistency and trying to manage the budget for lead flow and getting a, a better, uh, you know, a better lead with a higher intent uh, that actually, you know, I had bought different leads from different vendors and I always felt like they, you know, they, they actually didn't know what they were signing up for. And, you know, so I was just looking for something a little bit more consistent, mm -hmm. uh, actually trying to get off the road a little bit. You know, I mean, I, I used to pretty much so be about 98 percent in in home face to face. And, you know, I said I was running a hyper model. It, it was a hyper, but it wasn't that much, you know. And so I was putting some a lot of miles on my truck. Well, you know? yeah. And with gas prices the way they are right now, I'm not sure where you are, but here in uh, where I am, it's like four dollars and fifty nine cents a gallon. So um, way up from what it was just a, just a year ago. Had you heard of this this thing before about being able to to use telesales or virtual sales or you know, or did you just come into kind of that knowledge around this time? No, you know, I was doing a little bit of uh, telesales with, with what we were doing, mm -hmm. but it wasn't anything to this extent where it's basically 100%. And I really didn't do any Zoom sales because, you know, <clears throat> I mainly fooled with the final expense. Mm -hmm. And those folks, a little bit more complicated trying to get, uh, you know, someone a little bit older to, to understand Zoom and get mm -hmm. on and all. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I didn't really fool with a lot. I, I, honestly, I was just a little bit personally a little scared of it myself. You know, I was just so comfortable and used to having that face to face and relationship with folks and being able to watch their body movements and kind of go yeah. cues of what to say and what not to say, you know. So, yeah. yeah. How is that? How has this trans transition been for you over the past couple of months um or how or i should ask how is it going right now that you've been in for a couple of months transitioning mm -hmm. over to to the telesales well things are going really well now uh you know we've we've really hit our stride uh me and my wife uh, we work together she is she helps she's the appointment setter so she sets all my appointments and i do all the the calls and telesales and insurance agent part aspect of it uh, but we've hit our stride and we're really doing well with everything. So, uh, you know, we're consistently doing about, you know, a minimum of one transaction a day right now. Okay. Well, I mean, with that, and obviously this, this transition, when you compare it back to what you were doing before with the getting in your car and you're driving, or maybe even getting on an airplane to go somewhere, how has that been for you mentally to know that you can just do this, over the phone. Oh, it's been a big, big, big uh, burden off of me, you know, not to have to worry about driving all over town and having that discouragement and aggravation when you get to an appointment you made and mm -hmm. them not there. Then you got to go, okay, what are we going to do? We're going to go door knock somebody or, you know, we're going to have to hang around for the next appointment or, you yeah. know, w with this, you know, I mean, with a lot of them are, are self booking. So if they don't sell book, then Jamie books them or the other dollar books them. And we just sit and get on the phone. Uh, you know, it was a, it was, it really was a mental switch for me mm. uh, to be able to go from 
the like I said, face to face to getting on the phone and just kind of uh, getting in my rhythm. But uh, yeah. it is really taking a lot of burden off off of me as far as that goes. I've been able to get my life back to a manageable, a real good schedule that I'm very happy wow. with. No, that means a lot. And, and how long have you actually been selling life insurance? How long has this been a career for you? Oh, coming up on a year now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. When you initially got in, um, I, I can only assume that everyone was just saying, you need to get in the home, you need to get in the home, right? Yeah. You know, the telesales and Zoom sales, it, it just started. I think COVID had kind of pushed everybody into doing that yeah. just from a, a form of necessity. Uh, but I was kind of got in at the end of, you know, when COVID was really bad. So everyone was back in home. Uh, and so I just fell right back into that, you know, and, and going to the house. So how big of a, I mean, if you had to compare, like how big of a, or, or was this like a monumental thing for you to go from basically going door to door to, telesales i know there was a mental switch i know that there was a flip so you got to tell me i mean you didn't believe in this day one right it's like did you did you have that full confidence that this is something that you could actually do okay so i believed in the system from day Mm -hmm. one i had that confidence and that faith in the system because i would watched and seen other people do it and you know i didn't have that confidence in myself so it took me a little bit of doing it and getting consistent and just staying at it and putting that knowledge I was learning from the group uh, because it's not just, you know, it's just not leads with this. This is, this is a group. It is so much more uh, you gain from everyone else. I mean, everyone really is very open with sharing, hey, what, what they do, how they do it. We have a, a live Zoom call that we started where all of us to jump on. And, you know, so we get to listen to other folks and they get to listen to us and, you know, a little bit of critiquing or what have you. And it, it's that that's really is is what flipped it for me was having the confidence in myself because I knew the system worked. Mm-hmm. You, I just had to work it. Yeah. And that I think that's a, a lot of people that, that come into our ecosystem kind of really realize that. Because it's like, I always say that your success or failure is 100% in your control. It's like things work when you work them. You know, um, there is no magic pill. There is no magic bullet. You're obviously still working hard. Um, So that's not changing. But the mechanism and the strategy that you have in place has kind of made that shift and that difference for you um, over the past over the past few months in the past few months that you've been with us tell us a little bit more about like what where your focus is you mentioned final expense has that been your focus the whole time you've been an agent uh yes basically my my, my entire time has just been final expense i, I really I, I see a need for that mm-hmm. uh and my focus here with ajc has been on on the niche of veterans which uh I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, yeah, you know, feel that. Yeah, I know you have a son that's uh, in the in the Navy as well, correct? That is right. Yep. Yeah. And uh, excuse me for a minute, but that's all right. I haven't seen him in a while, mm-hmm. and I'm getting on the plane tomorrow morning. As a matter of fact, for family day for the weekend. And I can't wait to go. It's I know sweet. you can't. <laughs> I mean, I, I I can tell it, you know, in, in your voice. And um, it's one of those things where, I mean, if you do have children, you know, in the in the military, I mean, I can only imagine how my parents felt when I was in, you know, um, serving our country um, the way that I did. But to know that you have a son that is out there um, keeping us safe. I mean, that's got to be a sense of pride. Yeah, it is. And, you know, and me and Jamie were talking about it, That's my wife. Mm-hmm. And uh, between us, we had 11 uh, family members that served our country in wow. Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force. Uh-huh. So, you know, the tradition is there. Uh, and, you know, I've always, always admired that and had a great admiration for it. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not a sale. It's really I'm, I'm mm-hmm. helping serve those folks back for what they have done for us in our country. Yeah. I mean, for for those that don't know, I mean, veterans, active duty, they don't make a lot of money. 
um, you know, they, they have a lot of services that we don't have when it comes to, to health care and some things like that. But, you know, being able to have the career that you have as as an agent um, and being able to service that sector of our society with something that can benefit them so much is amazing, you know, and and just the mere fact that literally they can't afford it, you know, to do what it is mm-hmm. they do. And I think it's just a way is I'm just assuming of you being able to give back to those veterans, you know, over and above just knowing your son. Yeah, it, it, it really when you end a day and you've helped folks and even, you know, hey, my strategy is when I talk to them and I tell them, you know, if I can't put you in a better place and I'm just yeah. going to leave you alone. And there's several times where you just say, hey, you know, what you have is great. But don't give that yeah. up. I, I'm not going to touch it. I can't do anything with that. Uh, you know, more power to you. If you have any other questions or need any other assistance that you think I can do, hey, this is my cell number. Call me right back. You know, call me, hit me up, you know, anytime. Yeah. You know, and I think that I think a lot of people appreciate that a lot more as well, too. I believe they do. You know, you mentioned you you mentioned the group um, here at AJC that you're a part of now. You know, above that, what do you think has been the maybe the number one thing that you've actually been able to learn in the last couple of months that you've been a part of AJC, what has stuck out to you the most? Hmm. Well, it's going to be kind of hard to put one thing, one thing on top of the list, Earl, you know, uh, I think that what I've learned and seen is that uh, everyone associated with AJC that I've reached out to and talked to uh, or have reached out to me, not only the, the group, but also uh, y'all, you know, you and Arturo and Jack and everybody else and Kelly, uh, you know, y'all care, y'all care about us. You know, you're not, you're not doing this just to make a buck. You know, you're doing this to, to, to help us and help our agents provide incomes for their family, but also that, that allows us to be able to help these other families out when, when, when they need it, you know? So uh, I, I would have to say that. It's just been, it's been a real good experience overall. I'm glad to hear that. I know Arturo and Kelly and Jack feel the same way um, as I do. You know, you've seen testimonial videos that we've done before, Um, you know, especially before you came in. So I'm sure you've watched a few. So you kind of know where I'm going right now. It's like and I ask this of every guest that I have on the show. It's like you watched all of these testimonial videos and now someone's going to be watching you. There's going to be a life insurance agent out there that is going to be looking at what William is saying right now, what would your advice be to that person that may be on the fence about whether or not this is a step they ought to take? Well, I understand that, you know, it is a commitment as far as uh, out of pocket, your money. Mm -hmm. Uh, But what we found is just so, so more worth it because of the consistency with leads. You know, we wake up every day with, with good high intent leads that actually filled something out, had to fill something out or they self booked an appointment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's, I would have to say that's, you know, don't, don't hesitate, quit running all over creation, especially with gas prices as they are now. Uh, You know, if, if you're thinking about doing this, you know, go ahead and pull the trigger and get involved. Uh, it's it's like I said, it's been an overall great experience for us. Uh, you know, we got very consistent with leads. It's changed our lives because our, our day is more structured now mm. as far as you know exactly what we're doing, when we're going to do it. Uh, you know, so my appointment count uh, has gone up. God, I think I, I usually have about 18, 20 appointments a day or so, you know, so you know, I would say, let's get involved. And if you need, really need to, you know, I mean, just talk to me, give me a call, talk to me. I'll be more than happy to, you know, to answer any questions or have any, you know, share any, any other thoughts or, you know, if you have any fears about it, you know, cause you know, anytime you make a change, you know, changes is, is uh, always involves some, some type of fear. Mm. Uh, so to go from what you were doing to something new, you know, I understand with the fear and the commitment of, of the expense to doing it, you know, but, uh, we were spending, God, we were spending so much more money in, in leads that, that was just churning through them, you know, just unnecessarily. So this has kind of got our budget consistent as well, too. 
All right. Wow. Well, William, I mean, I definitely appreciate you, you like William or Will. Which one are we doing here? You know, either one. I, I kind of tell folks just call me Will because it seems like it's a little easier. Yeah, no problem. I mean, it, and I definitely thank you for, for that invitation that you gave for folks to reach out to you because that's the thing, too. It's like we are definitely here to help one another do what it is that we need to do. But, Will, I just want to thank you for taking out the time with me today to just, you know, talk about your experience with, with AJC. I know you're busy, um, but I definitely want to thank you for your time, my friend. Thank you so much. All right, Earl. Thank you. Thank everybody at AJC. It's been a really good experience. Really good. All right. And to you, the listening audience, the watching audience, thank you for tuning in to us today and make sure that if you want to get some more information about what it is that we do go ahead there's going to be a link around this video go ahead and click it and hopefully i'll be talking to you real soon you have a great rest of your day in order to sell more life insurance you need an automated predictable system that works